One of the hardest things that people often take for granted is the fact that you've got to carry your water either from a stream or a creek or the well. You have to carry that home to wherever you want to use it. Not every household had a well. And so hauling the water is a tiresome chore. And so I've gotten my water and I'm going to do laundry. Laundry wasn't done as frequently as it is now. First off, if you washed your clothes too much, you'd wear them out. And finding clothing is, well, it's expensive. It still is. Here we are, there's our wash water. And here's our rinse water. All right, this is a wooden washboard. On the frontier, it would be very easy to have one of these. I try not, not to have to spend any more money than I have to. Of the thing, of the articles of clothing that are washed, your apron would be one of them. My apron is filthy. This is my <coughs> apron I put on yesterday. This one isn't so bad yet. This one really needs to be washed, but an apron is to get dirty, as is our underwear. That your shift is your underwear, and for a man, his shirt is his underwear. This is what's worn next to the skin, and this is these are the things that are laundered the most often, along with our cap. The lady's cap was washed with some frequency because that way you could inspect it and see if there were any lice in it, you know. After you've been itching for a while, there might be a reason for that. But that is the reason why we wear these caps. That's in order to keep other people's bugs off of us. All right, so I'm going to begin by washing my apron. I would have taken, I could take this out of boiling water, but it's really not gonna make a whole lot of difference today. You submerse it in the water and you take your soap. This is soap from last year. And I'm going to scrub this up and get this good and soapy. Let's see how it's coming. It was pretty black. Let's see if I'm doing a good job. Oh, there, yeah, well, we'll get that part. That probably needs a little more soap there. There we go. Can you hear the sound? Some people play the washboard as a musical instrument. I can't quite get to that point because, well, I'm busy using it as a tool. All right, now, as I said, laundry was not done as frequently as one would think because in washing it with that much vigor, it's going to wear the cloth out and cloth is hard to come by. Cloth is hard to come by so that you'd wash that which you saw or that which smelled. And I believe the senses of that which smelled were a little different than they are in the future. The other reason for not doing laundry so frequently, you'd wash on a Monday because on a Monday, the animals would have been out of the field, out of the common area, um, either the commons or the village green. They'd be out of there um, since Saturday night. They weren't grazing in the commons on Sunday or on Monday, which was laundry day. They'd be put back out on the commons on Tuesday. And so you have to have all your laundry done and bleached on the green, dried and picked up. So the way that the cl clothes were dried, Bring it out real good. There. The way the clothing was dried was, it was put right out on the grass to dry. So, you lay it out nicely. And when it's all laid out like this, the sun will bleach it and it'll dry. Quite often they had a bleaker to tend the field. The bleaker would be a youngster who would be in charge of minding that nobody came and stole the clothing and to be sure that um, no animals escaped and came onto the green. 
and stompled all the clean clothes. And he'd also be in charge of turning it over on one side and then the other. All right, and let's see now. I have some stockings to wash. Let's see. Oh, here they are right here. Oh, let's see. Ah, yes, they're my stockings. They won't be too bad. These stockings are made out of linen. I get them good and wet, and then I'll get the, I'll put the soap on the business end of the stockings first. And really scrub that. You can see how you can take out some frustrations doing laundry. And I'll do a good job. Bring it out. I'll get that in the rinse and I'll get this one. Once again, starting with the business end here. Last year's soap was especially good. I make my soap in the fall. That's when I butcher the pigs because they've had all summer to grow and we don't have to worry about feeding them through the winter. And it's cool enough out that the meat doesn't spoil while we take the time to salt it, cut it up, and preserve it. And that's at the same time that we render the lard. And I also use the lard or the beef tallow to make the soap. Here we go. Ah, did a pretty good job, I say. Now I'll bring this one out. And rinse it really good. Bring this out. The reason that I'm wringing it out so well, it's not that it'll take so very long to dry, it's that I don't want to have to haul more water. Here's one stocking. Get it as flat as possible. It isn't so abrasive when you put it on if you got it somewhat flat. There's one. Let's see if we can't get the other one. There. Well, my chores for today are finished. I've had just about enough housework, baking, spinning, visiting, and doing laundry. So I hope you'll come back and visit again.